What's up guys? So today was my best trading day I've ever had in my career. So I definitely want to show this video to you. You can see ticker symbol CMG, which is Chipotle. I made $4,600 on this trade. This was awesome. I made a video on this about a week ago about a position I took and I held into earnings and I sold. So let's review it. It was a 698 share position where I had a cost basis of $52.65 and I sold right here. Let me show you in this box. You can see here, I sold 100 shares at 58.8. I sold 498 shares at 59.31. And then I showed the, I sold the remaining shares at 59.8. That tallies me up for year to date gains, $43,440. So we have been on a tear lately. I'm very proud of this. And I wanna break it down for you guys. I wanna show you where I'm at right now. As you can see, my biggest trading gains so far are Nvidia on two of these boxes here, around 18,000 on the year, 18, 19 grand. And now we add Chipotle to the mix for 46, 46, which is awesome. So let's break it down. I want to show you on Weeble what I was looking at just because Fidelity's charts are a little weak. They're difficult to kind of show. And it's interesting because I sold at the top. It's incredible how this finally actually worked out. I actually waited until it sold, got to the top and I sold at the top, which is awesome. Maximize the gains. I want to break down just the monthly chart and why I thought that this was going to go up. I'll post the previous video that I made where I posted where I bought uh, shares of Chipotle holding into earnings. Now looking at Chipotle earnings here, you can see right at about 4.10 p.m. earnings went lift off from $51 all the way up to $59. I didn't have intentions of selling at $60, but you know, I looked, I was watching it, and by the time I started looking to put in the, the sell order, it was already 57.7, it was up 11%. In my opinion, I said, okay, 11%, that's huge gains, I'm just gonna take the money, that's about a $35,000 position, $36,000 in the, in the trade. And then by the time I sold, I was selling up here in the 58 to 59 range, which was awesome. It is interesting because Chipotle has really sold off and they did excellent on their earnings. I was gonna buy again around $51, but you know, I just, I made the money. I just told myself, just stay out of the trade. Let's wait, because it pulled back all of its gains almost, 14, 15% right there. But I just wanna break down the trade for you. So if you look year to date on Chipotle, I made a previous video on this. I drew out this demand zone right over here. You can see it right here. And it was clear as day because if you go out to the five year, right here, it started pulling back. And I, I called this half dollar entry, which is $50. And I told myself I was going to start buying. So I started buying, you know, $53, $52 and had that cost basis of $52.65. I knew we had the catalyst coming in, looking at of earnings, looking at the pullback of $69 all the way down to 50. I felt like I was getting a bargain. Let me just move this over so you can see the percentage that actually dropped. It, it dropped 25%, 25% with no news. The only news it had was the split. As you can see here, it's on the bottom right of the screen, it split 50 for one in June 26. And then you had earnings today, which it beat. It beat earnings estimates. So I figured this was a good risk to reward. I can cut my loss below $46. And I felt that there was a demand zone here because you can see it here. It breaks through $50, which is a, which is a psychological entry. It retested around $51 and then makes higher lows at $52. So I figured my entry should be in between 52 and 53. And that's what I made on the video and I bought. Now I am thinking about re-entering because I just can't imagine it's gonna continue sliding but we'll see. I mean, we got to see if this trend breaks. Looking at this trend here, we can see that Chipotle is struggling to get out of this trend. And I feel like it's getting closer now. So the only way to really break this trend 
is if we can get, if you're in Chipotle, if you can get above and stay above like $55, then you will break this, this trend of going down and then start to make a move back to $57, then $60 retest. I'm going to bring this up now just on the five-day chart so you can see it. I mean, this looks nasty. You had a massive bullish move and then just gave back all the gains. It's honestly incredible how it did that. Um, so we'll see what it does tomorrow. But I'm definitely going to be watching Chipotle now for a trade. Looking at it, looking at entries of 52.50 again, kind of where I was in the beginning for a support level, but I'm going to watch it a little bit. I want to see where it goes. And I just want to show you an entry that another buy that I made and I bought, I bought, I don't know if it's going to show up on this. Let me see if it does. Oh, it does. So uh, it doesn't show it. So I bought FSPGX, more shares of it today. And that's a growth fund. So I decided to add to my growth fund FSPGX. I bought around $599.43 adding to them on this monster red day qqq went down three percent and that's when you got to buy when you get these nice sale prices three percent off today so we're going long term and we're going to continue buying on the red days all right guys if you like what you see please subscribe like share the channel trading simplified just look for this icon i have playlists on my trading pnl 2024 where i'm posting this video Investing ideas in the current market where I think the market's going to go. My long-term portfolio that I always show to you guys. Complete transparency. My trading strategies. And it's developed over the years. i got to make another one just on my specific strategy. Because it's a lot more price action now that I'm watching. And just support levels. Um, Fidelity index funds. ETFs that I like to post. My Vanguard investments. Investing for beginners. And Fidelity Active Trader Pro where I day trade on Fidelity. So definitely check it out, guys. I appreciate you just watching the video. You guys are awesome. Definitely subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.